there. Talk a little bit about those four years and how it culminates right now this year, getting the first number one seed and things you've kind of gone through and how you've grown in this time. Um, it feels good. Um, every year that I've been playing for the Vipers so far, um, we made the playoffs, and this year is really special. We like this group of guys, and you know, to get the, to the playoffs is very hard for any team, any sport. And um, just to be able to have the home court advantage is going to be very big time. I saw trying to tell all the guys in the beginning that, like, man, if we can just like start off playing really good and somehow end of the season end up with the home court advantage, we have a, like a, a real chance, like, to win the whole thing. Chris, uh, big for performance tonight. Some uh, crazy baskets, just uh, smart baskets also, um, and big rebounds. Talk about your performance tonight. Um, like I said, JB put me in the role of starting the last four to five games, so I'm just really um, taking advantage of it. Going out there, playing hard, and trying to be athletic as I can to do whatever I can to help my team secure the victory. Um, you talk about the team and uh, just how close you all are. And I know you all have had, Coach Blair said, you've had 26 different players on the team, but you have such great chemistry together. Uh, talk about each and every one of those players. Everybody know that whenever your name call, you got to go out there and play your hardest. And it'll take care of itself. You just play your hardest. Um, like he's like JB said, we had 26 different guys, and every time a new guy came, he came in and fit the role perfectly. So um, he's happy that we're in the playoffs, and I'm looking forward to playing on Friday night. Chris, how special was this group uh, this season uh, compared to other groups where you have made the playoffs in each of your seasons that you've been here? Um, I think the biggest thing is, like I said, is just making the playoffs and having home court advantage. Just, to me, that's like very big. Like uh, I'm trying to think of what year it was. My first or second year, we played Toronto and Toronto. They beat us the first time they came to our place. We beat them, came back to Toronto, and then um, they won and beat us. So I'm looking forward to you know, obviously taking each game at a time and then hopefully get the championship and playing three games, hopefully two in the Valley. You've been giving a lot of advice to all these guys coming through all the time? Yeah, I've been trying to. And kind of, what has your kind of role been in there? I mean, obviously it's not a given role. It's just something you kind of do. Talk a little about that. Uh, just keep your head up, man. And whenever your time is ready to go on the court, just make sure you go out there and play hard as you can and be ready to help the team win. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. That's it. We're getting any special dunks for next time.